again. This is Stephen Welsh, president of the International Chiropractors Association with the daily message for Thursday, June the 4th. You know, it was on March 30th that the ICA daily update was initiated. And we started out with a description of the Paycheck Protection Program that was part of the just passed CARES Act. Now, despite the best intentions of all of the members of Congress, the results were not as positive as had been expected. You see, the best intention behind the temporary expansion of the unemployment benefits created a situation that for a short period of time, workers that were fur furloughed two months ago began receiving more money in unemployment benefits than they would get if they returned back to work. And in times like now, every dollar counts. Well, the unintended consequence was that many of the small businesses that had obtained the loans couldn't hire them back and actually spend the required 75% of the loan on payroll during the required eight week period to obtain the promised loan forgiveness. Well, guess what? Yesterday, in another sign of hope for better times in the future, the Senate unanimously passed the Paycheck Protection Program Flexibility Act of 2020, which had been passed by the House a few days ago, 417 to one. So over two months later, with only 23 three days remaining till the end of June, a solution to the unintended consequences has been agreed upon and you can benefit greatly. Well, here are a few of the, a couple of the key provisions. First, the amount required to be used for payroll has been reduced from 75% to 60%. And the time period to apply these funds has been extended to 24 weeks. So this bill therefore raises the non-payroll portion of a forgivable covered loan from 25% to 40%, which will be a big help in covering fixed overhead. Second, if you don't qualify for loan forgiveness, the payback requirement has been extended from two years to five years. Now, a five-year loan at 1% interest can still be a great help to many. So if you haven't already done so, I would recommend that you consider it. And oh, by the way, I just got an email yesterday advising me that one of the chiropractic insurance providers has actually become an approved PPP lender. So if you're having difficulty getting that loan or your bank is no longer accepting uh, loan applications like mine isn't, it's not too late. There's still time to get it done. Now, when was the last time a bill got passed in both the House and the Senate with only one dissenting vote? This could be a sign that maybe our politicians are beginning to figure out that a little cooperation can benefit everybody. Now, for a couple of takeaways on the law of unattended consequences. First, sometimes leaders make decisions with the best of intentions. And then they find out that the results are not exactly what they expected. But when this happens, it is best to admit it quickly and then work collaboratively with everybody involved to fix the problem. The next takeaway, there are times when the best interests of a group require competitors to collaborate and work together. Now, whether it is a political party in a country or different professions in the healthcare industry or even different associations or organizations within the chiropractic profession, there are times when cooperation and collaboration transcend the need for intense competition. When we all work together, we can all win. Well, that's my update for today. Tomorrow, Dr. Selena Sigafus Jackson, Vice President of the International Chiropractors Association, will be with you for another inspirational message as we head into the weekend. I'll be back on Monday. Meanwhile, make sure you visit the ICA COVID resource page. Please reach out and connect with the ICA. If you're not a member, Please join today at www.chiropractic.org. We are here for you to help you help your patients because they need the reassurance 
there is no need for mass panic. And don't forget, you truly are their beacon of hope. Now we'll get through these challenging times and we will do it by working together. Thank you.